In this video, we will study about shared pointers. Shared pointers are another smart pointers. So it contains raw pointers and here copy is allowed. So if we have some shared PTR1 and it, it contains a pointer to uh, an object of type A, then we can have another shared pointers of the same type and we can initialize or copy it to the same resource and we can have a third pointer also pointing to the same resource so this is perfectly valid so internally the reference count will be kept as 3 in this case so when p3 is out of scope then it will come down to 2 and so on until it becomes 0 in that case this the underlying resource will be deallocated so it follows a reference counting ownership model that is maintains the reference count of its contained pointer an object referenced by the contained raw pointer will not be destroyed until ref count is greater than 0 so when should we use the shared pointer when we know that sharing of resource is required so multiple shared pointers can point to a single resource and shared pointer maintains a reference count for this purpose so let's see this with a running example in xcode the first thing that you need to make sure in order to use shared pointers is that you have included this memory header now in this code we have already defined one structure a now let's create some shared pointers which will point to the objects of that structure so now a shared pointer p1 is holding a pointer which is pointing to the address of an object of type A. Now let's create some more shared pointers pointing to the same address. So P2 and P3 and let's assign it P1 and here let's assign P2. It doesn't matter if we assign P1 or P2. Now let's print the pointers contained in these shared pointers. P1 dot get do the same for P2 and P3. So all of these should be pointing to the same memory address. So as you can see, all of these are same. Now let's uh, reset one of the pointers. So now after resetting P1, P1 is now pointing to nil, but the other two pointers are still there. So similarly, if we do reset for P2 then just P3 will be pointing to the earlier address and others will be 0 so finally when uh, we do P3 dot reset then the reference count for this object will be uh, 0 and uh, then this object can be deleted so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like my contents